Welcome to Do Not Visit, a series where I share with you a new place in a Game of Thrones, a Song of Ice and Fire every week that you definitely don't want to visit. Like, ever. Today, I want to talk about a shy and why you should nope the fuck out of there if ever invited there on vacation. So what is so bad about a shy? Why don't you want to visit there? Well, first off, the entire city is made entirely of greasy black stone that has an unpleasant feel to it. So right off the bat, not giving me the best vibes. The stone seems to absorb the light, dimming torches and hearths, making the city appear much darker than it should. Which is so fucking ominous, I already hate this place. And would it surprise you to know on these very dark black nights, uh, no one is out in the open for some odd reason. And I'm guessing the reason, uh, involves your death. However, while the nights are described as incredibly black, the days aren't that much better. The maesters claim that even on the brightest days of summer, it is still gray and gloomy there. I'm basically thinking Silent Hill here, so... No thanks. Oh hey, did you also know there's no animals in this city? That's a good sign. You will never see a cat, dog, or horse here. If a beast is brought from a ship to the city, it will soon die. Most food won't even grow in this area either, and despite the water around Ashai, drinking from it is a really, really bad idea. The waters are black beneath the sun, and by night, it glows a pale green, which I have to imagine is a sign that the water is super dangerous and to not go swimming in it. Of course, we only have to look at the fish to see that. So the fish that live in these waters are twisted, deformed, blind, and hideous to look upon. It's said only fools and shadowbinders would dare to eat them. In fact, it is believed the water is so toxic that simply being near it is what kills the animals brought to this city. What makes this water toxic? Is it scary stuff? It's scary stuff. So I guess if you're really insistent on visiting this place, fucking idiot, don't bring your favorite plant or animal and definitely don't drink the water. Which if we're being honest, I wouldn't be drinking any water in that city anyways. I'd just be fucking boozing it up every single day. Waiting to die. Which brings me to my next note part of this place. The occupants. Ashai is home to some serious dark sorcery. Warlocks, alchemists, moonsingers, wizards, red priests, necromancers, pyromancers, blood mages, torturers, inquisitors, poisoners, god's wives, shapeshifters, nightwalkers, followers of fucked up gods, anything really goes here. Nothing is forbidden, so any fucked up thing you can think of probably happens in this city. You can fornicate with demons, perform obscene riots, and practice any spell without restraint. For me, I give this city 6 out of 10 nopes. I would have given it more nopes, but as someone pointed out in my Con of Thrones panel, there's no children here. So it's it's basically paradise with demons that may inseminate you, and, and then their children may claw out of your womb. Or, or testicles if you're a male. Just imagine something with your testicles. A baby in there. Nope. Because gay, how would you how would you die here, or would you just be chilling with the sorcerers and the shadowbinders and? That'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to learn that too. Yeah, yeah, I hate children. I'm okay with this. Okay. <laughs> uh, no. Okay. I, I will reveal a little secret here. I I'm afraid of the dark. Oh my god. <laughs> So I will want to die pretty quickly in this place. So before <laughs> nightfall, um, I was like, hey, I, I was reading on this, and um, apparently the stones are very oily. So what if I just slip and crack my head? Or crack my head? <laughs> in the dark. In, in the, the dark. dark. Yeah. Sobbing hysterically. Yeah. I think that's yeah. That's how I would die. Just and like that old gypsy woman said. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't rate it. I wouldn't rate it that high. I feel like the the torture place was a lot worse than this one. Um, I'm gonna give it a. I'm gonna give it a six. Six, man. Come on. It's yeah, you're a lot tougher than I am. I mean, she's like half the size, but she's got all the moxie. All right. 
Chris? Yeah, I'll definitely, I'll definitely die here in some kind of sorcery accident. But <laughs> <laughs> you don't feel like doing the sorcery, right? No, I'll be, more, I'll be trying something because I definitely want to go and learn something. You know, I, I want the Jedi power up some magic, so I, I'll probably die by fire, <laughs> some explosion. Um, so, yeah, I mean, and so based off of the, the other one, I'll, I'll get some a, a six. Six? All right. Yeah, that's fair. Is that what everyone that's else fair. is pretty much on this? No. Got I mean, zero. Got you you said no kids and I bought a season pass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right there, two, two. Anyone up three? One. Man, you guys are too scared of this place. All six. Yeah, too mysterious. Too mysterious. The, the question is, is how, how is anybody drinking fresh water that lives? Oh, yeah. And bring, you can only drink booze. They bring it in. Well, then. Yeah. I, yeah. Okay, I'm going there now. Yeah. <laughs> you sold me. You're right. That was a zero. Uh, they have to. Otherwise, we'll die of thirst. Yeah. 